Hello, this is the Wall 200, and I'm here with a response video to just a robot that I just found out that made a reply video to my original, um, I guess, response to his uh, Jiraiya versus Roshi video, and I would like to go over it and correct some things and admit some of my own faults on here. So let's begin. Just a robot. Hey guys, I'm back from vacation. I really wanted to make a whole bunch of videos while I was doing it, but I was having way too much fun. In more ways than one. And I do apologize for taking so long to upload. I have been working on two collabs, so that's something to look forward to. Now I get a lot of comments from people attempting to debunk me. Usually they miss the point of the video entirely. Because I don't reply, a few of them walk away with a smile on their face thinking I couldn't say nothing to their super constructive comment. But hey, what can you do? You shouldn't feed the trolls. But when someone does a video on me, I really want to respond to it. Not all the time, sometimes a video is too long, or when someone does seven videos on me for every one video I do on them, and then they get surprised when I respond. Now I'm over a hundred times bigger than this guy, so I'm not gonna link his video down below. And if you do come across his video, please don't attack him. In fact, upvote his video and tell him something nice. I'm gonna stop you right here because this is probably the most insulting thing you say in the entire video. Mainly because it, you come off as a pretentious jackass when you say this because it's like I can't handle the criticism or the backlash from your huge ass channel when I've done similar videos on much bigger YouTubers than yourself. So please stop the bullshit. Now I want to make it clear, we were using Dragon Ball Master Roshi and not Dragon Ball Super Master Roshi. Some people complained about the results, saying that Master Roshi is moon level and Jiraiya is only mountain level at most. But here's the thing, Master Roshi is only moon level in his buff form, and back in Dragon Ball he couldn't hold it for very long. And no, Master Roshi does not have moon level durability in his base form, and I'll explain why throughout this video. But before we get into this video, just so you know, this guy's audio is pretty bad, and every time he talked about a point I made in the video, he played the wrong clip. I'll show you what I mean. Admittedly, I did mess this up. I did uh, play the, uh, audio was in the wrong place. I usually catch that when I actually watch the video, but some odd reason, I didn't catch it and you know I'm only human I'm not a robot I don't mess up things like weight and uh, mass are the same thing or the Naruto's moon is actually hollow I do apologize and the video was animated by Vegito1089 who's very well known for being the power level king okay let me stop you right there what proof do you have that Jiraiya is faster than Kakashi See what I mean? He wants to talk about me talking about Jiraiya's speed, but he plays a clip of me talking about who this video was animated by. As you can imagine, this video was very hard to sit through. Now, the eps where he split the lightning in half is actually a filler episode, which... Yes, that episode was a filler episode, but it was canon filler. The later filler seasons of Naruto are canon, which is pretty cool, and I wish more long animes would do that. Looking at you, Bleach, you could do a filler season about what happened before Ichigo showed up, but mm, nah, you need to make a filler season about the bouts. If you want to count that, actually show him splitting the lightning in half. Well, it was super heavily implied. You see him charge towards the bolt of lightning, and then you see a white flash of light. Also in the mango, Guy Sensei said he did it. He has a huge, you know, advantage there. You know, he already knows it's coming down. He yeah, that's cool. So did Goku. And Goku wasn't charging at it. So what's your point? The point was... He knew exactly where it was going to strike and win. That gives him a huge advantage to split the lightning in half. It kind of diminishes his, his speed feet quite a lot if he knows where it's coming from and where it's going to exactly going to hit. 
That was the point. There is no real speed feats that Jiraiya has that actually could probably say that he's actually faster than Kakashi. And bringing up Vegito 1089 doesn't make your statements any more true. I don't want to put words into Vegito 1089's mouth, but I'm pretty sure I heard that he likes Dragon Ball a lot more than Naruto. Also, Jiraiya took on the six pains at once, while Kakashi was killed by one. Also, Kakashi did this when he was young. He's probably a lot faster now. Plus, Jiraiya has a Sage Mode, probably giving him even more speed. So I'm pretty sure that Sage Mode Jiraiya is a bit faster than young Kakashi. I would like to point out he only fought three Sages of the Sixth Path, but not all six, but I digress. What... I don't understand is like you cut out a part where I called you out on committing a appeal to authority fallacy and those who don't know what that is is basically taking someone of higher guard and trying to make a point when there's no really fact base anything to it except for what this one person says. Okay, I get that you're trying to give a a like a strength feat to dry here, uh, but Naruto's sage mode is way stronger than Jiraiya's. I don't see how you actually say they are comparable with absolutely no proof whatsoever on your end. Absolutely no proof whatsoever, except for, you know, they're both frog sage modes. Granted, Naruto's form is stronger, but I didn't say they were equal. I said they were comparable. Are you shitting me? You just played the clip where I said you said they were comparable and I don't understand how you were comparing them when Naruto's freaking sage mode is complete and is way stronger than Jiraiya's. What the fuck? Yes, Naruto beat the six pains while Jiraiya was killed by them, but the six pains were exhausted from taking on an entire village at once, and Naruto knew what to expect while Jiraiya went in there blind. If Jiraiya had the same advantage Naruto did, he probably would have taken out at least five of the pains. And keep in mind, Naruto only took out the strongest and last pain because he had the six-tailed form helping him out. Not only that, Jiraiya's sage mode is not 100% perfected, while Naruto's is. Yes, it's not 100% perfect, but it's about 80%. It's enough. Also, a few people were complaining, saying that Jiraiya could only go into his sage mode with those frogs on his arms. But the thing is, he can summon those guys, so I don't really count it. Oh, and I almost forgot. Naruto's giant Rasengan in frog sage mode is comparable size to Jiraiya's giant Rasengan in frog sage mode. That doesn't mean they're equal in strength. Just because they're the same size or, you know, comparable size doesn't mean that they're the same strength. And we don't actually know how much the rhino weighs. I don't know how much the rhino weighs either. Okay, sorry, that was a dick move. I apologize. It's really impossible to actually tell how much it weighs, but if you consider it weighs like a r actual real rhino. Oh, he said it right. Also, I'm guessing it's heavier than any rhino we have in the real world because its horn was the size of Naruto. Which is about 5,000 pounds, even if it was five times its size, which rhinos are pretty fucking big, it'd be only 25,000 pounds, which earlier in the video you claimed that Roshi did 12 tons, which is 24,000 pounds, which isn't much of a difference there, so... Actually, let's say the rock was twice as heavy as the rhinoceros. It still wouldn't matter because Naruto threw that thing a hundred feet in the air while Master Roshi only pushed that rock a little. Admittedly, I fucked this up pretty bad and I didn't really catch it or um, notice until way later down the line. It was like way too late to really take it down or edit it out and I do apologize for fucking that up. I don't think I need to explain that throwing something hundreds of feet in the air is a bit more impressive than pushing something a few feet. Master Roshi was shown to be bruised by bullets from Launch's gun. And before someone says this was just done for comedic effect, no it wasn't. Characters have been shown in Dragon Ball to be hurt by bullets throughout the series. I don't see how you don't see this as a comedic effect. 
mainly because earlier in the episode you showed and said how Master Roshi effortlessly caught a bunch of bullets. Wow, you played a clip that had to do with what I'm talking about. Good job. And yes, Master Roshi getting hit with the bullets was done for comedic effect. But throughout Dragon Ball, the characters were always hurt by bullets. Like when Goku was knocked out by General White's gun. I'm also curious as to why Master Roshi would catch the bullets. It's almost like if they hit him, they would hurt him. Then why would he let them hit him if he knows that the bullets would hurt him? And why wouldn't he just catch the bullets before they had a chance to injure him? Wow. Talking about where other characters get hurt by bullets and rocks are where Goku, for one, that was filler when he got hurt by the rock. And if you wanted to count the bullets that hurt Goku and Krillin, it, I really believe this. He's talking about this scene. Which means if I chunk this rock at him, he'll just zap it into a million pieces without even opening his eyes. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. <laughs> ah! But I am curious as to why the fuck you're bringing this up. I didn't bring this up in my video. Someone might be mistaken to think I was talking about that. If I didn't talk about it, don't bring it up. And if you do bring it up, make sure it's clear that I didn't talk about it. I'm just gonna say it. I think this just goes to show you how biased you guys really are. Because you didn't even include Master Roshi from the Resurrection F movie. And do you understand what I mean when I say we're using Dragon Ball Master Roshi? Could I have used Resurrection F Roshi or Super Roshi? Yeah, I could. And it would have been a curb stomp for Roshi. I will end the video there because he pretty much dismisses me as a very small channel and he doesn't give me the common courtesy to put my video link in the description so I people could see my version of the video which is pretty insulting to be perfectly honest that I didn't give him a chance <laughs> to show my side of what my opinion was and I comes off as extremely censored and strongmanned because it my video is heavily edited <laughs> if you haven't noticed and it's pretty insulting and I don't get why he's trying to cater to me because I'm smaller than him pretty much if I didn't want the backlash or didn't expect any kind of backlash then I would have never made the video and I made similar videos on other people who are much larger than him, like Seth the Programmer, you know, Double Four Anime, uh, For Never World. So I really don't get why he's trying to, like, I guess, mitigate the his fans when i more than ready to receive the criticism, okay? It's really condescending and just insulting that's all i have to say thank you for listening right comment and subscribe